Excusez-moi. Thank you. <laughs> it works. Okay, the flying fortress. The flying fortress. We're on the magic school bus. Everything's just going wild from here. All right, let's have a look at this. So we came up through here. Okay, that's where I have to go. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it to what we were doing before. Major stuff. Oh, I'm onto major stuff and um, I'm going less. To the last crystal. Yeah, I reckon we could be able to finish it today. I think we can finish it today. Medusa's here. Oh my goodness. What's the what's your favorite one? Oh my gosh. One that stuck with me was when they went microscopic and they went inside a human body. That one was trippy as hell. That, you know, that episode. That one's just stuck with me because it was so random. <laughs> I was just like, whoa. Like that kind of blew my mind as a kid because I was like, whoa, they can do that? <laughs> That's like so small. <laughs> The fact they made a bus like microscopic is kind of wild. I love you so much. Aldrin. Thank you for the 14 months. Appreciate you. Welcome in, you incredible human. How goes it? How goes it? One of these endless maze floors. How many floors do we have? How many floors? Do we have a lot of floors or just some? You're thirsty. I oh, know. It's just like, dang it. Like, I knew this, but I hate being told that. Let me snack. Drink water. Dang it. I'm not thirsty. I need more coffee. <laughs> you got summons in FF6. You hate the boy mages. I did not what I did not even try to get all of um uh, Gao's abilities. I did not even go there. Yay! The final crystal. Ba -da -da -da. The Lich, Marilith, and the Kraken. You defeated three fiends and reached my lofty perch. Where's the co drink coffee redemption? Our uh, wolf wouldn't like that. <laughs> You'd be like, he's already like, Kimmy, you drink too much coffee. I don't need to be reminded. That's the reason. I do that anyway, Ari. <laughs> Sometimes the drink water becomes drink coffee if my water bottle's out anyway. They're kind of, they're interchangeable in my mind. They both contain water. <laughs> all right, all right, come on. I'm gonna go, uh... Healing stuff. And I'm gonna try... You want Shadow back? I know, Shadow's the greatest. Oh, Aldred. Okay, does... Interceptor, Shadow's puppy, does Interceptor not look like Aya? Like, I was kind of shocked at how similar they look. I was like, what? Yeah, Teamat looks cool. Oh, thank God we've got ribbons on peeps. 
you. Okay. Kila. Um. I'll try Quake. It's probably not gonna work though. Because Dragon. But, you know, maybe. Yeah, I was. That's why I named Shadow Wolf in my playthrough. Cause I'm like, what the hell? All right, I'm gonna use mm, Thundara. Mm, I might need Saber to increase the. I might need Saber to increase our damage. So we do the giant gloves. Kira. Mm, I don't have Saber. I'm just gonna try and play this smart. I think Wolf still has the the sword that's effective against dragons. I think, from memory. Mm. New Blazara. Ooh. How much HP does Tiamat have? Thundaga is the only one that I've got. I didn't have Kiraga or Blazaga yet. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. I'm just gonna use healing stuff. And then major stuff maybe. Poison! Nice try, everyone has ribbons. Nice try. Now nah, we're okay. We all good. Appreciate it though. We're doing well. Us getting lost has leveled us up very quickly. <laughs> How are you so strong? I got lost for like three hours. And then, literally, I went around the entire continent, like, twice, realized there was no port there, and went up, like, ten levels. I'm not even exaggerating. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> it's the altar of wind, from which the power of wind flows forth. Oh, what was the village we had to go back to? Um, mm -mm -mm. I'm just gonna do a save. Cause we just finished it. Free. Actually, this this oh, this works. This works. Da, 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 da. Bye. I believe the village was down this way. It was Crescent, right? I think it was Crescent. With the wizards? Crescent Lake. Oh, it's so cute. So cute. You don't like his abilities and can't control him in battle? Uh, I mean, I can understand that. Yeah. 
just depends on what the enemy is. I feel like it, like um, that character is situational. Wrinkles does the eye of trigger redeem and goes, I know. <laughs> I know. She's asleep. I get it. But there's no regrets. She will eventually get the treat. <laughs> Especially Wrinkles, she just went to sleep. Like, she's been up since, like, 2 a.m. She had her nap all afternoon and was up Zooming from, like, 2 a.m. to 8 a.m. Like, non-stop, just running around. She's only just gone to sleep. There is no way. There is no way I'm waking her up for any reason. Whatever we, uh, whatever went back 2,000 years in the past has brought the world to the brink of destruction, and now 2,000 years later, it travels into the past again. A cycle of wrath without end. The sequence of disasters that began 400 years ago it was triggered by events that happened only a scant few days in our past. But whatever set this emotion has now fled 2,000 years into the past. The chain of time has become looped back upon itself. It must travel back in time to the link the chain that gave birth to the cycle of wrath and destroy it. You would have no memory of this, but before you wandered into this land, time flowed properly for you. But that flow of time has been warped for you now in this time. The crystal shine once again! The combined power of that light is the only means of breaking the wall of time. The architect of this disaster is beyond that wall 2,000 years in the past. The four forces gather in the chaos shrine, the geographic center of the four altars. With the forces flowing freely, the time to go to the chaos shrine and strike at the root of darkness has come 12 stages are we guided to this land by the stars of prophecy 400 years ago it was wind 200 years ago it was water then came earth and fire the four forces that make up this world power must be directed towards its proper, proper end bringing the light of the four crystals to us only you can do this the ever repeating 2000 year cycle the warped destiny that gives birth and rebirth to wrath but it's no more than an illusion a fantasy the final fantasy. And only the Warriors of Light can break the cycle. Okay, that's the same. Okay, so we gotta go to the Chaos Shrine. Do, do, do. If you have all four crystals, did you see anything in the flying fortress to see, indicate what was happening? Uh, I wasn't really looking out for it. If I'm gonna be honest. If I'm gonna be honest, I'm not I'm not very much paying attention to many things right now. I'm trying to focus on staying awake. <laughs> oh yeah, I should probably stock up. True, true. True, true. I feel like we have everything that we need. It's just pretty much just some potions, Phoenix Downs, etc. To th put us over the line. Oh yeah, how much? I've got to be very sparing with my income. Yeah, I've got to be careful. Wouldn't want to overspend, you know. We're end game. Let's fucking go! Oh, after all that, after all that, I still have 500k. Don't come for me. But, Kimmy, that's such a waste of money. I'm rich! I don't give a fuck! <laughs> what am I gonna do? Save all my elixirs? Oh, I didn't see a scene. Okay, so there's shrines up there. Cool, 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 cool. I might have just missed it though. I might have just missed it. Now, I don't mean to piss people off. I'm just, yeah, Wolf and I are very, very tired with new pupper. She's taken us a lot of energy out of us, you know? We have a lot of love for that pupper, but god dang, she got a lot of energy. It was very optional. I feel like we've missed it. 
Yeah, the Energizer doggy, exactly. You focus the light of the four shining crystals, fire, earth, water, and wind, on the black crystal. The flow of time surges, and space begins to warp. Just one step forward, and you'll travel back to 2,000 years in time. The temple's not, like, in ruins anymore. That's cool. Okay, so I can't see any of the other rooms currently. Oh, the flans! This is crazy what they look like here versus what they look like later in the series. They've almost got like a toadstool kind of vibe. I like the more like a pudding kind of actual flan. trying to maintain my health but I feel like we can just go in now um. which would you want to master achievements why is crisis core I would master crisis core PSP and um, reunion for sure um, FF8. Ten would be an insane headache with all of the Aeons. Okay, so there's a door there, a door there. Okay, this is going to be interesting to navigate. I'm going to try the left side here first and just see. Yeah, I feel like Crisis Core is the simplest one. Yeah, uh, they've added achievements though. I've got, I think, what, 20 achievements or something for eight? Although we did quite a few in 10, actually. 10, we got 192 of uh, 249. Not bad. Kudelka, I want to do that. I want to finish that this year. But yeah, 8, we did 78 of 104. Not bad. It's definitely easier. But they've added new achievements since we've um, done that playthrough because we didn't have this many left behind before. Stuff like Lionheart on disc one, stuff like that, um, I knew I had to do, but... Yeah, they've added achievements when they did the swap over. <gasps> Good morning, Mr. Spill. Good morning. How goes it? How goes it? Yeah, it will be easier with the reshuffle. I wouldn't even mind going for the, uh... The no junction, no level up ones. They seem... It, it seems like it'd be an interesting way to play. You know? But now that we've done all the triple triad stuff... Okay, so this is some kind of monument here. I wonder if something goes here. Hmm... It's 
going all right just working how are you today little sleepy but the coffee is kicking the coffee is kicking we're doing well iron will be sleeping soundly and we're meal prepped for the week Jesus, like our factor box literally came at the perfect time. I'm not even. It's made my week so much easier. It's an actual godsend. Okay, so I can't go there. Yeah, Crisis Core cool is probably my favorite one. Because there's ones that I haven't done yet, like um, doing perfume and stuff. We got quite a few done with Reunion. Uh, that we didn't get to do necessarily on OG. Okay, so that seems like it's blocked there. Okay, interesting. Hmm. These are blocked, so I must have to go the other way. Gotta be careful with that fire now. We're gonna run out of it. And would rather not. I oh, actually gotta have this. Let's go, let's go. Your IG videos are great, always got you laughing. I'm glad, I'm glad you guys are liking the extra content. We got all these funny moments on the stream and it's been fun going through them again. I'm testing like different formats and what I like, what I don't like. With the setup of them, but it's been fun. And it's fun also reliving those moments again too. I love that, I like adding my own captions. They always make me, uh, make me giggle. Doing those for Wolf and I are so fun. <laughs> no, comment away. I appreciate it. Comment away. Help that algorithm though. <laughs> that really helps, truly really helps. I appreciate it greatly. But if you're not like an IG person, we also have um, those videos on like TikTok, YouTube, however you uh, absorb your uh, your content. I got you. Okay, so that's blocked currently. Okay, let's try and level three. So you have a doorway there, there. So these are open. Okay, there's no other stair here though. Hmm. You do TikTok and you're really on YouTube outside of looking for a specific video. So IG and Twitter are the best place for you. Oh yeah.
I'm like probably between YouTube and IG, I think. <sighs> like I like being on Twitter to like catch up with friends, see what they're up to. Like video wise, I probably consume the most amount of content on YouTube. But I do really enjoy like going through reels and stuff on Instagram. I feel like I get I go down that rabbit hole pretty quickly. Like I don't do TikTok because it's even worse for me. For sure. Like I go down that rabbit hole with like TikTok and I can't even remember half the videos I've watched because the content is just like in your face. It's just like not like vine level, but like I find my attention span goes dramatically lower and lower and lower and lower when I'm on TikTok. And then I find that I'm just like brain numb just like watching videos over and over and just like I can't recall what I've even watched. I just know that I've been laughing but I don't know like everything I've just watched. Yeah I can't process it. There's like a few that I remember and then the others just like go over my head. So I do small doses on TikTok for that reason. Otherwise, I'm gonna freaking loop for like hours. And I don't get shit done. <laughs> no, no. No. You are so fine. All the poppers, man. All of them. I follow a Twitter page which you might like, Mr. Spill. It's called Why You Should Have a Duck. And if you didn't guess what it's about, it's about why you should have a duck. <laughs> and it's like all these cute like duck videos, duck photos, ducks with like ducklings with kittens. It's like a whole thing and it's so cute. Oh, so cute. So, so cute. Oh, ding, ding. Dang. I am losing health fast here. Cool. Uh, if I'm like running around in circles, just let me know. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's anything here though. I'm confused. Is this the wrong way? Because I'm not seeing anything to interact with. Do I need to do something and then come back here? What? Oh, I see a door. Hold up. Hold up, silly goose. I didn't see the freaking door. Because there was four, well there's another ladder to go up. Silly goose! Death Eye, mate, listen. This little combo works well, I think. Yep. <laughs> GG's. Okay, I'm gonna take these here first. Dry ether, nice. Oh, not the vampire lords. Oh, a nor.
fancy. All right, I'm just gonna go to the restroom really quickly. I will be right, right back. My apologies. All the coffee, man. All the coffee. Oh, you're able to keep them for a few weeks and then you donated them, you donated them to your teacher. Oh, that's so kind of you. When she let them go, they were getting big and turning pure white. Eight years later, he was buried in the same cemetery. On the day he's burial, you hit a round of golf balls. You saw two pure white ducks, the only ones there. Oh. I mean, in such like a sad moment, like death is never is easy. Uh, the fact that you saw them there is like a beautiful sign. All right, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go to the restroom. And we're back, and we're back. Thank you, thank you. And Astro, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Ugh. I'm working with support at the moment to get our follower alerts back. The other ones have all been fixed, but the follower one is still like not working for some reason. So I'm like working with our alert support to try and fix that. Everything else is working now, weirdly. I think it was like some kind of weird glitch or something. But yeah, I appreciate the follows though, despite the alert. No, I'm going off. I see you. I see you. You've been seen. Oh, unknown, did you like my meme? Did you like my two memes on the Discord? Do they have your approval? For those who missed it, um, we've got unknown in game, and unknown in game died, and so I got a screenshot and I captioned it with a picture of Yuna dancing in Final Fantasy X. Uh, unknown dies, Kimmy dances. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was there. I couldn't help it. It was too easy. <laughs> Your death was not in vain. Yeah. 
And then I um, also did a little tweak then on one of the enemies in this game because the uh, Sahagin kind of looks like old Greg and so I put it in the outfit and same, same. <laughs> and same, same. The sequin blazer and the pink tutu, same, same. I tried to find references for Baileys and pictures of Baileys and Baileys in shoes. Um, couldn't find the references to do it justice, unfortunately. I did try though. An effort was made. Mm. Okay, so nothing in those two areas. Nothing there either. Okay, so it looks like I have to go down. The only way it looks like is this way. The shenanigans! After, after a stream, I'm just like, oh, the memes! I can do this. <laughs> if you think of any creative memes, feel free to like share them on the Discord. We encourage creativity here. So am for Diablo 4 next week. I've heard a lot of people getting excited for it. I've not played a Diablo game, so I'm, the hype isn't there for me. I think it's cool. It looks cool, trailers look good. I've not played Diablo, so I don't know what to expect there. But from what, I'm, what I've seen, it looks like it's gonna be poggers, you know? Also, Diablo 2 is a great way. Why not 1 as an entryway into the franchise? Oh, we're up here now. Okay, so we entered from down here. Now we're up this entryway. Okay. Looks like you have to go around to this section. No, not the flans. Oh, Anor. Oh, Anor. Goodbye. It was nice knowing you. Yeah, this setup's pretty strong. It can probably carry me to the end. Ooh, okay, so we're up this end now. Okay, so we have a door there that we can't access. Okay, so we have to go over that way. And go down. Yeah, everything else is blocked. Okay, that's pretty funny. As a dungeon crawler, looter. Oh, okay, cool. RPG, love those games. So Diablo 1 is pretty old, so 2 is a better entryway into the franchise. They kind of amped up whatever was wrong with 1 and made it a little bit more exciting for 2. That's fair. Oh, Diablo 1 has a PS1 version. Oh, okay. But if you guys say that it's like pretty boring and not fun, is it worth playing the first one? Or would you just skip skip to the second one? Like, for example, Clock Tower. 
I'm considering just skipping one and two and going straight to three. You'd skip it and play two instead. Oh dang, which wrong one? Oh, it just won't be at the same level as two. Or using the mechanics that you'd see across all the other games. Oh, you'd skip Ari? How was three though? So Diablo 2, top tier. How would you rate three then? Oh, thank you for the follow. Hey, they fixed it. Yay. Yay, it's fixed. Do you like the new alert? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. What do you know? It got fixed. Dang, they're quick. Oh, dang. We're fighting Lich again. Oh dang, okay. Um I'm gonna go healing stuff. Mmm Golden Lights. Let's try Thundara. I think Lich is undead though. I'm gonna try something different. I wanna try this. I wanna see how it goes. It's fun to play, but two is the best so far. Oh, it ended on a good note though, but it didn't start out as strong. Okay, I think this is a solid setup. I felt like Dia would do more though. So. Really strong though. Lich is no problem. Three was really good with friends. Okay, I'm still gonna do. Oh, actually, I'll do a protect. And. Blizzard. Uh, seasonal play was unique and added replayability and some unique items and weapons. Oh, okay. But do, do you find that you enjoyed two more than three there, Mr. Spill? Bellissima. Beautiful. I think the alerts might be fixed, guys. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Wait, are we level 50? Bro, we're almost level 50! Are you kidding? Yeah, someone follow and test. For science? You know, if you want to, no pressure. It's all blocked though. Oh, there's a door there though. But I see. Dude, I didn't even try to get to level 50. There's no reason for us to get to level 50 in this. There is no reason. I just got lost for that long that I ended up getting to level 50. <laughs> I was gonna go level 35, 40. I wasn't planning on grinding to 50 at all. That was not my intention in the slightest. 
It's completely unnecessary. Okay, so it looks like we have to refight all the other bosses. That's cute. Yo, Amai, welcome in. How are you doing, Amai? Shout outs to Amai. Playing Dark Souls 3. <gasps> Gorgeous game. How are you doing, Amai? How goes all the things? You have a lot of nostalgia for 2. Because uh, you, you played countless hours of it back in the day, but 3 added some improvements that you prefer over 2. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. There's some things that are going to be built upon and improved. With a newer rendition in the series. Understandable. Oh! Okay, quick save. Okay. Marilla. Okay, so I'm going to do a protect. And then... I'll be Thundera. Okay, I'll we'll use it to create Saber. Magic, Cure Wolf. Magic, I'll try Thundaga. Strangers of Paradise. Oh, I've heard good things. That's been another one that's been requested. Okay. But no, we're definitely playing uh, FF2 next, if that's okay. Does it need healing stuff? Uh, and then I'll try Blizzard. I'll see how that works. It was fun gameplay. It's very Souls-like. Uh, but the story and dialogue is cringe. Like, ah ha 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 cringe? Like, how cringe are we talking? <laughs> like, please stop talking cringe. Like, that you externally cringe. Like, like eating a lemon. <laughs> Just eating a lemon face, cringe. Like FF10. Ah ha 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 ha. Ah ha ha ha. Cringe. You know the one. <laughs> Just to confirm. Oh, okay, so main character's a bit of a broken record. Yeah, I get that. It's like, I get it. Chaos. Okay, we might watch that. Might watch it. Fish! Mm. 
Not bad. Not bad. You played a little OG Demon Souls. Ooh, nice. Oh, so you're replaying Dark Souls 3. That's fair. Okay, I'm not seeing any treasures here. So I can go straight in with the tablets. Let's have a look. So we're gonna go around. Okay. This way. I want to try Elden Ring as well. I think it'd be so fun. Dude, the freaking the list of games to still play is ridiculous. Like, we've played so many games in the last three years. And the list just does not get shorter. It gets longer and longer. Like, have a look at our, um, in our About section on Twitch. You can see, like, our, um... Our profile like you can see our profile for um, like the games that we're live with the games that are on our list to play what we're kind of currently playing we have like over 80 games easily over 80 games that we've played which is pretty decent considering like at least 10 of those are Final Fantasy games. So what would you say is the main difference? What would you say is the main difference? Say dying in a regular Souls game to Elden Ring. If you die, does that mean you drop your stuff and have to get it back again and start with nothing? Like how mean are we talking? <laughs> is the question. Is it checkpointed in Elden Ring? Like story checkpoint or... They... Also you go back a mile for dying and makes you go back. Ah, oh, Elden Ring has save points over Heat 8. Okay. Oh, you have to drop your souls XP and money and you have to recover your XP? Bruh. It's a bit mean. Ooh. I'm gonna have to recover some HP. We are not looking good. Okay, I'm gonna go high potion for unknown. Alright. Uh, healing stuff. Major stuff. That's so mean, though. The checkpoints are bonfires. You can tell you between, but also touching a bonfire responds to everything. That's so mean. It's like, so it's like, yeah, save, but you have to fight through another horde of enemies if, if you do. It's like, good luck. So if you die, you got to go back through all the enemies again, trying to get your souls. Oh my God. <laughs> so it's just basically don't die. And don't die and don't save, and good luck. Or save at your own risk. Die at your own risk. <laughs> I 
Well, we're level 50 now. <laughs> well. Yep. How about that? Well. Yeah, don't, just don't die, streamer. Exactly. It's that easy. Just don't die. Walk in, boss flies at you, and shoot shots you. Oh god. And then go back through another wave of enemies again to go through the boss again. Ooh, this is a Kraken. Alright, I'm gonna use the Giant's Gloves. Protectica. Oh, Protera. And I'm gonna see Blizzaga. Yo, Argentina, welcome in, welcome in. Uh, we're in, I think, the last area right now. We're in the Chaos Chaos Shrine. We've got all four crystals now. I think we'll be able to finish the boss really soon. We're going through every single one of the bosses we fought previously. Magic is effective. Okay. I'm still gonna try going for the giant's gloves. Um, I'm gonna try using it. I don't think it's he's undead, but. How this goes. The boss fights are all usually all pretty epic though. I kind of want to do Dark Souls Remastered at this point this year. You just got two new kittens, Ari. Oh. Um, photos when? Videos when, Ari? We must see the kittens. Okay, it doesn't work. Zaka. Okay. The Zaka again. Solid. Should be soon. One, two, Cura on unknown. Bazaar again. And then I'll do chat. I'm gonna save you, chat. We're gonna do this. Yay! Shrine level four. Okay. There's oh, something there. I don't know if it's worth going into or not, but 
Because these rooms don't really have anything. These knights are so cute. I can't. I can't take them. this way and down I kind of just want to see what's here I'm just curious I'm just like what's over there when it comes to loot oh unprecedented I cannot stop won't stop oh he just fleed he just went you know what I'm done I don't get paid enough for this. I'm good. Dude just went, I'm good. That was a quick flea. He's like, you know what? Not today, it's Monday. Hope you're having a fantastic time. Shout outs to Matsu, who's playing Final Fantasy XI at the moment and going through the entire Final Fantasy series. If you want to support Matsu, please do. I've known Matsu for many years now and is such a chill and amazing human. You should support. I'm just saying. No pressure, but you should. Welcome, welcome in, peeps. We are going through Final Fantasy I. And I think we can finish the game today. I feel like we can finish the game today. Oh, thank you for the follow. Thank you. Welcome in. How am I finding one? I'm actually doing it quite a bit. Worth it. Worth it. Worth it. Worth it. Hello? One is a bit confusing though. That's the only thing I'll say. Is like, I like one, but it just kind of doesn't, it gives you hints of like what you need to do. But if you weren't paying attention, you'll get lost very quickly. The dungeons are simpler, but I overthink them. You know? There are certain sections that are tricky, though. Like how the map kind of like connects itself. And loops around. Stuff like that can be a bit tricky, but otherwise it's pretty good. It's fun, but it's just like a bit confusing more so than other FF games. I feel like they learn from that. Oh, and the fact that you use weapons and you use armor and stuff, like items, is kind of interesting. Hey, yo. Yep, worth it. Worth it from Asamune. Worth it. Masamune is the most powerful weapon? I was like, oh, do we have to backtrack? Do we have to? Yeah, it was worth it. I can't stop, won't stop. It's gonna be interesting to see how this ends. I feel like we're almost end boss level, I think. I think. Well, I think we have one more boss and then final boss. That's what it feels like to me. You have great news? What was happening? What's happening? Yeah, so we've got this one. And then we've got essentially end boss territory, I believe. Oh, 
Oh, dang. Tactics Remaster is coming to tw in 2023 for PC. Would you guys rather I wait for the remaster or play the OG? You didn't cry? I might. For some reason. I think it's unfair. You didn't get the true experience. You missed out. I can't believe you didn't cry. The actual audacity. Yo! You guys really want me to play Tactics, huh? Okay. 16 and Tactics this year? Whew. I mean, they're going in this year. Okay, I'm gonna use Saber, Giant's Gloves, Magic, Healer, and then Wisdom. Hmm. I'll just do a heal for everyone. Wait for the remaster for first playthrough. We can do that. We can maybe we can do Xeno Gears and then we can do the remaster of tactics. We'll see. I mean the achievements alone. Makes me wanna try it. Um, I haven't played Diablo, Bane. I will... I don't know if we'll play it yet. I was recommended to play Diablo 2 first. Uh, I'm Australian here living in the States. Do a normal Thundar, I think. There's gonna be challenges, change in difficulty, and more jobs than the PSP version. That's freaking great. Ah, uh, I don't speak Spanish. I know a little bit. It's more that I find it easier to understand languages when I'm reading them than when I'm hearing them. I try to learn little bits and pieces here and there. Koalas are interesting. <laughs> they cute. They're, they sleep like 22 hours of the day and they're psycho with like insane energy for like two hours. They are very cute, though. It was a very uh, interesting experience. I sent. Essentially, they've got the, these experiences where you can um, uh, you can stay overnight at the zoo. And so I thought it'd be interesting. So uh, I did that with my family when I was young. And um, it was really cool, like hearing the lions and stuff roar in the morning. Like all the animals kind of come alive at like five and everyone wakes up. And then uh, like around midnight or something like that, it was like very late at night. And we heard all of the freak, we watched the freaking koalas, dude. And they were bouncing off the walls. It was insane. Like they were bouncing off the effing walls, dude. For like, and we were like, so, it was just chilling because you see koalas just chill for like 98% of the time. And then we saw them like leaping between freaking branches and shit. Use Quake? Okay, can do. 
I just want to heal up everybody. Um, I just normally don't use Quake against Dragons because it usually doesn't work. Yeah, confirmed Australian. Yeah. Confirmed Aussie. How can I prove it? Uh... Hmm. There's a lot of poisonous reptilians, spiders, the ones that I personally have encountered and tend to avoid. Uh, redbacks. Uh, black, they're a black spider with like uh, red on the back of them. They're usually outdoors in sheds, dark places. They tend to be like more outdoors than indoors. Poisonous. Uh, Huntsman, not poisonous, but scary. Big, long legs. Uh, funnel web, poisonous, aggressive. Goes, yeah. <laughs> They're very aggressive. They don't back down. Uh, red belly, black snakes tend to be more timid even though they're like uh, poisonous they don't like to lash out unless they're scared brown snakes aggressive will attack be careful be very cautious haven't seen any of them specifically in my life white tails freak me out the most because their bites are uh they can have weird reactions to your skin and eat away at your skin if they're left alone. I've encountered many white tails, very luckily not been bitten. Yeah. Outside of that though, haven't really encountered like too much. Like Like the further out from the city you go, the more like wildlife you run into. Like my cousins have run into like wombats and kangaroos and stuff when they lived like really far out. But you don't really, like in the city, you don't really see much, I would say. <laughs> Confirmed Aussie, only Aussies would know. Kookaburras do indeed wake you up though at like 6 a.m. That was like my alarm clock for the longest time. Da, da, da. You like the videos even though you don't speak much Australian English? Oh, I try to speak a little bit slower at times. E even my husband like <laughs> mishears what I say all the time because of the accent. It's not exclu it's just an Australian accent thing. <laughs> it can be difficult to understand. And also some of the sayings just don't make sense. What was the last one I said? That Wolfie was like, what? There was one. There was something I said the other day that Wolfie just did not understand. It's because we we abbreviate a lot of things, and so it can be misunderstood a lot. Oh, up until now, what FF has been your favorite story-wise? Um, story-wise. Hmm. Maybe nine. Maybe nine for the story. I would say probably Crisis Core and nine for story alone. Seven has, like, is my favorite, not just for story, 
but because of the, the mini games, the mechanics, the chocobos, the side quests, there's like so much stuff you can do, the characters are strong. But I think Nine has a very emotional story. Oh my god, that was funny. <laughs> so basically, I saw a TikTok and I thought it'd be funny if I tried it on Wolfie of like a couple and she said, can you be less annoying than yesterday? And I thought it'd be funny to see Wolfie's reaction on stream. But when I say like any couple related TikTok pranks uh, to Wolfie, <sighs> he just doesn't get it. And so it just doesn't fly. It doesn't work. There's no funny reaction. He just looks at me with judgment eyes and goes, what are you talking about? And I'm just like, you're ruining it. <laughs> You're ruining what could have been a great moment. So it could have been like funny and you ruined it. And then he goes, oh, that's what you're trying to do. And I'm like, well, now it's not the same. Moment's over. Wait, what? Did you refresh your browser or something? I'll drink some water in a second, Hapari. Thank you so much. Ah, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. Just wanted to make sure. Because I do mine manually on my end. Just when I walk away. I find that it's more... Um, uh interactive I guess like just you don't miss any of the content that way I feel like that's just easier yeah I feel like my favorite Final Fantasy based on story alone would be Crisis Core and or Final Fantasy 9 they would be my favorites for story. Like the stories were very deep and very beautiful. But I feel like other Final Fantasies have battle mechanics that I prefer more. Like uh, seven would be my favorite based on music, mini games. Six, being able to choose between a multitude of different characters was really cool. And eight, the junction system alone partnered with Triple Triad was such an awesome experience. Eight really blew me away in that way. So although, like, different Final Fantasies are my favorite for different reasons. Six had an epic story too. That's true. I feel like six was just a package deal, you know? Seven was our first playthrough, so that was the most memorable. But six really surprised me. I didn't expect to love six so much. And eight just was so different from any of the others that we've played in the best way. It's hard to it's hard to pick a favorite. Yeah, it's just what mechanics do you prefer? Do you remember me? I was once the most renowned knight of all Cornelia. Who are you? Two thousand years from now, you killed me. I am Garland. <gasps> dun dun dun! Oh, you did defeat me then, but the four great forces saved me by sending me back through time. Once here, I sent the four fiends into the future, where they shall once again use the four great forces to send me into the past. In 2,000 years, I will remember none of this. Hey! Well, yeah, we got sent back 2,000 years. You see, because this was like uh, a ruins in the previous time. But I will be reborn again here. And even as you die again and again, I shall return. Born again into this endless cycle that I've created. But what if you get defeated? Chaos. What if you get defeated like right here, right now? Is the question. Like what happens then? Um, Attack. Yora. 
and I might go not Thundara, I might go Fira. Or Spira, right? Yeah, make it stop. We'll fight in chaos! Excuse me! The plot twist? Insane. Alright, I'll do protect for everyone. And. I think I think Quake will work. I'm gonna try Blizzard with it. Wow, thank you! Oh, what an asshole. You have Kiraja? What the hell, man? What the hell? Okay, I need the... Saber. Coco. This hot guy again. Dang. That's insanity. A 2% chance of curing himself and we got it. I don't know if the sabers can be stacked. Oh, of course he has haste, of course he does. Okay, so attack, attack. Um, I might do a haste for our heavy hitters. Nice. Welcome in, peeps. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Okay, I'm gonna do a Kiraga on Wolf. And I'm gonna do a Thundaga. Let's see how that goes. I think it can stack. Giant's box. Alright, I'm gonna do Hilaga and Hiraga. I need to have big spells, big magic spells. Yeah, it's still going through. I'm gonna try Stranger of the Paradise since it's on Steam now. I have heard that I should be playing that one next. But I kinda wanna get through two and three first. I wanna get through two and three and do casual playthroughs of them. I might watch the trailer later though. It's Souls like? That I heard from a mic actually. But that the it's very cringe dialogue and story that's what I've heard healing stuff I'm just gonna quickly heal everyone uh, I got healing helmet and then healing helmet Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, shoot. Asshole.
Mate! Stop it! Ah! What do you mean? Yo, beef, welcome in. Okay. okay. Let's change our equipment up. I think that's fine. Might do the protect ring there. I mean, we've got the best stuff in the game at this point. I'll put defender on. Okay, that's the best I can do. That's why we did the remaster. It's just more chill. More chill. It begins. Let's get it, son. Let's get it. Okay. You'll be reborn and die and die again. And be reborn. Okay, I'm gonna use the gauntlet. Not the gauntlet, but the um. Giant's gloves. Attack. Okay, protect everyone. Gloves. Magic. Cura. Can we use haste on you? Yeah, so I've got one protect already. I need to do a Hilaga. I gotta make sure no one dies. Do Proterra and then the healing stuff for everyone. Chaos. I might actually, I might die here. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure. Heist Kimmy. I'll 
can't quite see how that goes. Leave chat alone. Leave chat alone. Excuse moi. Chat died again. I mean, surely it has to be soon, right? I'll do a Hilaga now. And then the healing staff again. Oh god. He's gotta be soon. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to stay alive. Chat. What the frick? Dude, this guy is not dying. Yeah, sorry chat, I resurrected you there. No hard feelings, hey? Christ. This is a freaking boss, dude. It has to be soon. Surely. Thank you. Jesus. Thank you for the drink water. Huh. Dang. Tough boss. Smile. I got you, chat. 
The time loop was severed at last. The endless struggle that raged over 2,000 years had ended and peace prevailed once more. The light of the four crystals restored the forces of wind, water, earth, and fire. It was a mere trick of fate that had given rise to the chain of Garland's wrath. But magnified by the four forces meant to guide our world, that trick of fate also gave birth to the fiends. Monsters had run rampant as worlds sank into darkness. But all that is now past. With the four forces flowing as they were meant, the warriors prepared to cross time and return to the world they knew, a world where Princess Sarah, Queen Jane, and even Garland himself await. When was this fateful day that sent time spiraling into a loop? None can say. Was that really needed on another line? We couldn't put that. Okay. Okay. It seemed the cycle into which time had fallen would last forever. But the bravery of four young travelers changed that. They took the forces that filled the world with darkness and used them to bathe the world in light. We couldn't have sped this up any faster. Like, we couldn't have just, like, you know, 1.25 times. Okay. None will ever recall the struggle the four endured. For the breaking of the chain means that it never existed. But within the tales of fantasy that people tell, the memory of their deeds lives on. Tales of dwarves and elves, of dryads and shouting civilizations that reached for the heavens even as they fell. And now, their return is upon us. We couldn't have, like, why did we have to space out every sentence? We couldn't have just... Okay. With the memory of their struggle buried deep in their hearts, they will quietly watch over our world. Remember always that the forces of the world must be used as they were intended. That the power of light must never be used for dark and that the true crystals reside in your heart. Ah, friendship! For you are the warrior who crossed time. Finally getting some recognition around here. Hell yeah, let's go! You are the bringer of light. Does, am I also the bringer of paychecks? This heroism is expensive stuff, I'm just saying. Who's the bringer of paychecks for the bringer of light? Is the real question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're doing the double space for the essay requirement because it had to be like five pages. Who's the bringer of coffee? That's also a very solid question. Yep. I do like this ending music though. It's pretty in this little space.
the fans across the globe, both past and present, and to the crew who brought the originals to life, we offer our profound and heartfelt thanks. Yay! Yay! Great stuff. Great stuff. Good game. GG's. Finished Final Fantasy. The very first one. The one that they thought was going to be the Final Fantasy until it wasn't. The one that started it all. GG's. Honestly, great game. Really fun. <laughs> the one that ended up not being the Final Fantasy. GG's. Yeah, it was pretty good, not gonna lie. It was pretty good. It was a little bit confusing because you really had to explore and talk to everyone in order to find out what was going on. Um, some stuff you definitely probably need a, like a guidebook for back in the day. It's not very straightforward, easy to get lost, but solid, solid bosses. Much appreciation, much thanks, much wow. Honestly? Oh. It was pretty fun. I didn't expect to... Look, I knew that I'd like the Pixel Remasters because I like retro style games. I love like how they... Like the look of them, the nostalgia factor. Uh, I like the... As soon as we liked six, I knew I was going to like the other ones. But I've been pleasantly surprised how each one has brought something different to the table across our playthroughs. It's been very cool. The fact that you didn't have MP in this one and that you actually had magic charges instead was a different quality that I've never I've never played a JRPG with that before. That was very interesting. The characters were interesting too. The fact that we could upgrade them once they hit a specific point was really freaking cool it was definitely a shorter game in comparison to the others within the franchise but very solid but very solid was it as good as say five four five and six i feel like they bring more story wise to the table but we did still get a good twist we had some some turns we turn back time it was cool and the fact that a game that was literally made in the 80s had some twists and turns as big as this it tells you it tells you wonders man it was good well it was more that we had a full character upgrade so instead of just being white mage black mage thief our characters got a different aesthetic they um they became wizards our mages became wizards it was cool our uh, thief became a ninja. It was interesting that we got a, like, a big like character upgrade and stat upgrade. That was cool. Because we'd proved our worth. Thank you. Thank you. I thought one was really fun. I'm glad we played it. I'm glad. We will be playing all the other Pixel Remasters as well. Continuing on with two. But I was very pleasantly surprised with this one. Um, no, I've not played any of those games before. Uh, well, within our full playthrough experience, we still have two and three to do. Uh, for YouTube, this will all be in numbered numerical order to make it easy to navigate, even though we didn't play them in a specific order. Just to make it easier. So if I talk about other games within our playthroughs, if you're watching on YouTube, that's why. We did a really random freaking order. <laughs> we did not play these in order by a long shot. Uh, but I am going to be continuing our playthrough with 2 and 3. Uh, we still have Tactics. Uh, Stranger's Paradise you guys wanted to see. Lord of Final Fantasy, we'll see how it goes. We still have 10 2 to play. Uh, tactics and 10-2 will be after our, fifth, our 16 playthrough. 
just because we're not going to get time. They're going to take us like a week or two minimum to beat, to beat each of those, I think. We've done... Yeah, 15 is still on the menu. Yep, yep. I'm going to catch them all. I'm going to play them all. That's the dream. That's the goal. The Kimi order is seven. Uh, Crisis Core, seven remake. Crisis Core reunion, eight. 13, 13 two. Lightning returns, nine, 10, 12, six, four, five, one. Two, three, fifteen, sixteen, tactics, and ten, two. That's the Kimi order. <laughs> and then Misk. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. And then that's it. I reckon. Essentially, by August this year, we will have finished every Final Fantasy game. Outside of the ones that are like, uh, were released on like DS, um, some exclusive ones. I don't know if I'll do the. We're going to be doing the 14, like Final Fantasy 14 online, with chat intermittently between our different playthroughs, as we'll have refer like different references throughout that whole playthrough to other games because Square loves doing that and we love the Easter eggs. The DS ones, we'll see how we go. Because, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how we're going to go about doing that. If it's DS exclusive ones, I probably won't be able to do those, but everything else, which is pretty much on PlayStation, on PSP, we'll be able to do. Reason enough, Fran is in 12 too. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. I do want to do Xenoblade. No, no, Xeno Gear, sorry. Xeno Gear. Uh, Chrono Cross, Chrono Trigger. What other ones? You guys want a Dragon Quest? Legend of Dragoon, the Tale series. There's so many, man. There's so many. I want to do Dark Souls remaster, Elden Ring. I mean, we got to. This is enough content for at least a year. <laughs> I've been told to do Dragon Quest XI. I've been told. I still want a platinum games, but like we've got so many games on the list. Trying to achievement hunt them is just like another freaking trek on itself, man. It's wild. I will let you know once we get around to it. The list is oh so ever long. But playing through the Final Fantasy series, I do not regret one bit. It has been so fun. Speaking of, I actually have, um, oh, what was it? I've got a set coming actually of all these different posters, like Final Fantasy poster set from Square. And I'll show you guys that and unbox it when that arrives. Cause I was gonna frame some pieces and have them in the background. Cause I think it'd be cool. Cause we have some negative space on this wall that I wanted to fill up. And they're really gorgeous. We'll see how we go, because I might, I don't know, it might, they're good enough quality to be like quick, like a picture book, so. I don't know. Uh, Fantasy Star I'm not into. Fan, like Fantasy Star Online, I wasn't like into that. I know some people really like it, but I just didn't get into it. So it's, I just didn't get into it. I did try it. I tried like the sequel that was released. Not, oh, not the online ones. Yeah, the online one I wasn't into. And Genshin as well. I was like, eh, it's fun. But like, I wasn't really into it.
I know some people really like those games, but um Oh, the originals are just JRPGs. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll look into those. We've got plenty of different options. If you're on YouTube and you have any games that you want us to play, uh, we have a long list. But if you want to contribute any games that you love from your childhood, any JRPGs that you love, just let me know down in the comments and we can try and get our way through all these beautiful games. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. We'll be playing more Final Fantasy uh, games in the future. Those all will go onto YouTube at some point. You guys are incredible. Have an amazing day. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.